Good morning students Sairam. In today's mathematics session we are going to learn construction of some important angles by using compasses and ruler which is part of chapter number 14 practical geometry. You have to do these constructions as your assignment. You are going to do your assignment on white sheet of paper by using compass, ruler and sharpened pencils. I am first going to discuss the various steps involved in the construction of these angles and then I am going to show you a video how to do these constructions. So let's begin with the construction of 60 degree angle. So what are the steps of construction? First step, draw a line and mark a point O on it. So we have a line L here and a point O marked on this. Step 2, place the pointer of the compasses at O. Here at O you have to place the pointer of the compass and draw an arc of convenient radius which cuts the line at PQ that means this arc which cuts the line PQ at A. This is A. Now next step, third step with the pointer at A. Now you have to take the pointer of the compasses at A. At A and cut this arc at B. Next step, step number 4, let the two arcs inter intersect at B, at B two arcs are intersecting. Now we will join B and O. So we get an angle BOA which measures, this is angle BOA which measures 60 degree. So this is how we are going to construct 60 degree angle. Next is 30 degree angle. Children 30 degree is half of 60 degree. So for constructing 30 degree angle what we do? We construct an angle of 60 degree and then we bisect it. So these are the steps that we follow. First we construct an angle BOA of 60 degree. Okay, then A as center, draw an arc in the interior of BOA whose radius is more than AB. With the same radius and B as center, draw another arc which intersects the previous arc in the interior of BOA at C. Then we join OC, angle BOC and COA are of measure 30 degree. So this is how we do it. First we draw an angle BOA of 60 degree. This angle of 60 degree. Then we bisect this angle. This is angle bisector. So how do we do it? We keep the pointer at A. We keep the pointer at A and cut an arc here this arc. Then with the same radius keep the pointer at B and draw another arc. These two arcs intersect at C. Then we join OC. Then we have two angles of 30 degree which are angle BOC, angle, angle BOC this angle and angle COA this angle we have two 30 degree angles by bisecting one 60, de 60 degree angle. Now how to construct 120 degree angle? Children angle of 120 degree is twice it is double of an angle of 60 degree. So these are the steps we follow to construct 120 degree angle. First we draw a line that means first we construct a 60 degree angle. Draw a line PQ and take point O on it. Then step 2, what we do? We place the pointer at O, 
place the pointer of compasses at O and draw an arc which cuts PQ at A. Now, step 3, without disturbing the radius of the compasses, we keep the pointer at keep the pointer at A and cut the previous arc here at B. Okay, then next step, step 4, again without disturbing the radius of the compasses, we keep the pointer at B and cut another arc on the first arc at C. When we join CO like this, we join CO, then we get angle COA which is of measure 120 degree. Now how to construct an angle of 90 degree? Children, when we construct a perpendicular to a line, that means if we have a line like this, L and point P on is it, if we construct a perpendicular on this, this gives us 90 degree angles. So this is how we are going to construct 90 degree angle. So first we draw a line and take a, a point P on line L. This is point P on line L. Next step, with P as center and a convenient radius, what we do? We draw an arc, this arc which intersects line L at point A and point B. We keep the pointer at P and construct an arc which cuts line L at A and B. This is point A and this is point B. Next step, with A and B as centers and a radius which is more than PB, which is more than PB. The radius of the compasses should be more than PB and with B as center and A as center, we cut two arcs here, okay, which cut each other at Q. Q is the point where these arcs cut each other. Now next step, join PQ. What we do? We join Q and P. This is PQ is perpendicular to L and so we get 90 degree angles as QPB and QPA. These are two 90 degree angles. Now to construct a 45 degree angle what we can do? Since 45 degree is half of 90 degree we can bisect a 90 degree angle and uh, that will be construction of two 45 degree angles which is shown in the video. So I now I am going to play the video to show how to do the constructions. Children let us learn how to construct angles of 60 degree, 30 degree, 120 degree, 90 degree and 45 degree by using compass and ruler. Let's begin with the construction of 60 degree angle. For this, let's with the help of a ruler, let's draw a line L. This is line L. Now, we take a point O on L. We keep the pointer of the compass on O and with a convenient radius, we intersect line L at A and construct an arc. This is A. Now without disturbing the compasses, keep the pointer at A and cut the first arc at B.
this is B. Join OB. This gives us an angle BOA which is of measure 60 degree. We can verify it by measuring with a protractor. Now, let's draw an angle of 30 degree. Let us write here 60 degree. Now, for drawing, for constructing 30 degree angle, we have to first draw 60 degree angle and then bisect it. Why? Because 30 degree is nothing but half of 60 degree. So, for 30 degree angle, let us draw, let us construct a 60 degree angle first. For this, again we draw a line L. On this line, we take a point O. Now, take the compass, keep the pointer of the compass at O. And with a convenient radius, cut L or intersect L at B and draw an arc. Now, this is A. Now, keep the pointer without disturbing the compasses. Keep the pointer at A and cut the first arc at B. This is our 60 degree angle. Join OB which gives us an angle BOA which is 60 degree. Now we have to be bisect this angle to get 30 degree angle. For bisecting this what we do? We take the radius of a compass which is more than half of AB. This is AB. More than half of AB. Then keep the pointer at A and draw an arc in the interior of the angle BOA. With the same arc, keep the pointer at B and cut the arc which is drawn in the interior of BOA. This point of intersection, let us name it C. Now, let us join OC. Now, angle BOC is 30 degree and also angle COA is of measurement 30 degree. We have bisected the angle BOA which is of 60 degree measurement. Now, let us draw, let us construct an angle of 120 degree. Children, 120 degree is nothing but twice of an angle of 60 degree. So, let's see how we draw 120 degree angle. For this, let us first draw a line L. Take point O on L. With the help of a compass, keep the pointer of the compass at O and draw an arc which cuts L at A. This is A. Now, with the same arc, without disturbing 
the compasses, keep the pointer at A and cut the first arc at B. This is B. Now, without disturbing the compasses, keep the pointer at B and cut the first arc at C. Cut it at C. This is C. With the help of a ruler, join OC. Angle C O A is of measure 120 degree. We can verify it by measuring with the help of a protractor. This is exactly 120 degree angle. We will write here 120 degree. And you can write here angle C O A is equal to 120 degree. Now let's construct a 90 degree angle. Children, there are two ways of constructing 90 degree angle. But I am going to teach you a method which is also mentioned in your textbook. This is by constructing a perpendicular to a given line. When we draw a perpendicular, it gives us 90 degree angle. So we are going to construct that way. For this, what we do? First we draw a line and this is line L on which we take a point P. Now, keeping the pointer of the compass on P, we draw an arc which cuts line L, line L at A and B, A and B. Now, we will take the measure of compass such that it is more than PB or PA and we take B as the center and draw an arc. Then we keep the pointer at A and cut the arc. This gives us point P, point Q. We join PQ which gives us 90 degree angle. This angle is 90 degree. This is how we construct 90 degree angle. Now let us construct 45 degree angle. Children 45 degree is half of 90 degree. So we will first construct 90 degree angle and then bisect that. Let's first draw construct 90 degree angle for this. We draw a line L. Take point P on L with the help of a compass and P as center. Draw an arc which cuts L at A and B. A and B. Now, Taking measure of compass such that it is 
more than PB and keeping the pointer once at B we draw an arc and cut this arc by keeping the pointer at A. This gives us Q. When we join PQ we get 90 degree angle. Now we are going to bisect this 90 degree angle to get 45 degree angle. How do we do that? Let us take this point as M. We take the measure of compass to draw an arc in such a way that it is half than MB. It is more than half of MB. Then we will draw in the interior of angle QPB. We draw, we draw an arc by keeping the pointer at B. With the same measurement of the compass, without disturbing the compass, we keep the pointer at M and cut the arc. This gives us N. We join Pn angle QPn is of the measure 45 degree and also angle NPB is of 45 degree. This is the way we draw 45 degree angle and you can also verify it by measuring with the help of a protractor. This is 45 degree.